uh, acetic acid, okay? So what they usually is uh, uh, the example with the propionic and this endometacin, yeah? If you take endometacin, right? It looks a little bit like serotonin, 5-HT, because of the indo, indo template, yeah? So this is non-essential. You can replace it with, with carbon, yeah, like in uh, Solindac. Same thing, but you replace the nitrogen with carbon, it still works like magic. Okay. So top end here, yeah. Uh, it needs to be acetylated. If you, if there's no carbonyl uh, moiety there at all then there's little activity. Okay? This chlorine or fluorine or uh, tri um, trifluorocarbon yeah, needs to be at para position. If you put it at also or meta position, it doesn't work. Again. Yeah? Here, this methoxy group, yeah. Uh, if you if you take out, remove the metho the methyl group, uh, leaving just OH group, it'll be again there's a drop on in activity. Yeah, need to have a bit of a bit of a methoxy group, uh, CH3 groups or LR group or acetyl group, and it's to be flexible as well. Again, what it tells you is that. There's an interaction. This interaction is very important on this side of the ring. Yeah. Again, if you see in many of the end states, it would actually feature a carboxylic acid. So this is very important um, part of the essential actually in the molecule. If you change that OH to an amide, just simply uh, it will actually abrogate or simply lose activity as an analgesic. So again, the point is that acidity of the, of the group relates to the anti-inflammatory effects or analgesic effects as well.